love charcuterie boards. I've always loved charcuterie boards. It's been a big passion of mine, especially during quarantine. And I think we owe a lot to charcuterie boards. Let's just be like normal. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So one thing I'm super, super passionate about is charcuterie boards. It helped get us all through the pandemic. I'm gonna shout out some of the charcuterie Instagram accounts that kept my uh, attention for months and months. Charcuterie cheese board is really good. Charcuterie thyme, T-H-Y-M-E. Um, charcuterie chick is really cool. I'm really excited to get back into the kitchen. We don't have a kitchen. I'm really excited to be back in the kitchen if we had one. But we're making do, we don't have an oven, we don't have a stove, but listen, charcuterie boards don't need that. We are gonna do a seasonal charcuterie board. This is going to be amazing. I think you're probably asking yourself, hey Jen, where's the meats? Where's the cheeses? Guess what? You don't need it, because we are doing things our way. We're gonna color outside of the line. Google it, Reese's peanut butter pots are the top candy year after year. I've got my favorite Rice Krispie treats, I actually hate licorice, but I think it's gonna be good for the picture. And if this board doesn't end up on Pinterest, it's over for everybody. I've got candy corn, yogurt pretzels, definitely Oreos. I love a good October popcorn. We've got these cookies that are probably on sale in the next week. They're so cute. We've got some ghoulish gumballs from Double Bubble. And then I think to top it off, we get these like weird 80s pumpkin candy things that are just purely sugar, because why not? First step, look at me rolling up my sleeves. The first step in real like charcuterie making is making sure that you have this sh Hello. First of all, I've never done a charcuterie tutorial, have I? So you want to make sure you space out your decorative pieces so that you know where you're kind of like going to be decorating in between. All right, so what I like to do is I like to kind of take everything out of the packages and see what I'm working with. Okay, what I wanna start off with is figuring out what's gonna stay in the bowl and what looks good out and about. So first things first, I'm gonna start making my little mini eyeballs, my googly eyes, because I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use a Sharpie. I love my mom, by the way. This is very Chris Atkin. I need to actually call her, show her what I'm doing, because this will make her so happy. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh my God, this is already a hit. This is a huge success. Why is this making me so happy? Now I feel like, and I'm not gonna even pretend that I invented this because I fully saw this on Pinterest, but I'm gonna take my pretzel sticks and my Oreos, and they're gonna be spider leg Oreos. Art is an interpretation. Wait, what am I trying to say? Art is in the eye of the beholder. Now let's take a vote. Which do we like better? I'm gonna scratch that. We'll just do red vines. If you're just tuning in, this is a huge disaster. I also just wanna tell you guys that I went to my first goth wedding, and if you've never been to one, I would suggest making a goth friend immediately because it was so fun. It was heartwarming, but also spooky, and the music was to die. It was really great. I'm getting there. I don't understand the kind of pressure I'm under. I'm just gonna tell you one thing. Growing up Mormon comes in handy sometimes because you might just see this Rice Krispie square block, but I see an opportunity to make little Rice Krispie balls that are gonna have eyeballs on them. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen or what? Holy sh Okay, how is this looking so far? Great. How do I make this stay? Oh. Little, little trick. <laughs> make sure that nobody um, eats something that you licked because that is not COVID safe. Oh my God, it's oh a tongue God, it's of it's apple. Elmo. This just happened. This is the beauty of charcuterie. Like forget the spider, it should be this. Oh my God, this is so cute. All right, so now I am, I've got a good chocolate assortment. I've got my red vines. Definitely need to start incorporating some of the cookies. I like little clusters of things. I'm gonna now get into cookie land, you guys. 
chef's kiss. This is literally like, they're so good. They're like, you know when they're just, they give you like cotton mouth at the end? That's what these cookies are good for. This is my meat river, but with sugar cookies. Fun fact, I actually named my son River after a meat river from a charcuterie board. Nobody knows that. I'm running out of space, which is stressing me out. Okay, in the little bowls, here's the thing. You wanna make sure that you've got like a cute story in bowls. So I like to like space out my bowls. I can't wait to call my mom. Is that weird? Oh, these little cookies are so cute and not good, but nice colors. Oh my God, I still have so much stuff to incorporate here. Definitely need some worms in the mix. Now I've got candy corns galore and that's where I really need to like make a splash. Candy corn's great to like just fill in in areas. Also, so here's the deal with our Halloween. This is River's first. I should be like so prepared and so cute, but I've been really busy with work. We're gonna dress up really, we're gonna do a family costume, but it was kind of thrown together. It's not like my best work. But Mike and I both really have always loved Halloween and really gotten into it. We need some more like tall, short duo combo. Cause we've done Hall and Oates. We've done Napoleon Dynamite and Pedro. We haven't done Sunny and Cher yet, that's mm -hmm. a good one. But we've gotta figure out like some good tall short duos if anyone has any ideas. And I also tend to end up in a mustache every year. Eyeballs in the popcorn, yes please. Eyeballs everywhere. It's also kinda of nice to have things wrapped. Texture. Anyways, I was just calling to tell you, I've got extra marshmallow eyeballs if you need. Oh, how do you know I need Okay, I'm gonna do brown pretzels, you're right. I think I just do some of these like brown yeah. pretzels, get more dark colors in there. What is this for? My YouTube! This was fun. Honestly, I think we did it. Such a gorgeous, sweet, but spooky enough. It's got ghoul, it's got tart, it's got chocolate. It's perfect. You ready? I'm ready. To see what I did. I need your advice, but you weren't available. <gasps> no way. Did you do all this by yourself? Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Oh, my word. How cute is that? It's so delightful. Where did you get all those cute ideas? Pinterest. Oh, my gosh, Jen. Don't you love no it? Do this, yes. I am really proud of you. Look at the marshmallow eyes I made for the Oreos. Mm -hmm. 